Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm gonna be telling you and showing you what I have made for my first acid pack ever. Keep in mind this is this acid pack is not finished yet, I still have a few stuff to do. A week ago I think I tweeted out that I'm gonna... Uh, that I was thinking about making a acid pack and then I'm gonna look into it and see how it goes. So I looked into it and it's pretty simple. So I went ahead and started making some models. I wanted to make something like low poly forest landscape environment acid pack. So that's what I did. I started making some trees and then I made some rocks, some bushes and some grass. So this is the second tree I made. This is a pine tree for the forest. And also all of these models have three LOD LODs for it. So it has the main mesh and then three LODs. So you can see this is a very good pine tree. Um, I feel like I could you could really use it anywhere you want. Let me show you the second one. Here it is. It's also is it's also a pine tree. It's very nice. It's kind of tilted, so it, it's more like stylized and stuff. I really like the looks. The third one is a oak tree, and it kind of has these this main trunk and then three branches coming out of it, which I very very like really like. And this LOD seems to have a little problem here, but that shouldn't be, actually shouldn't be too big of a problem because if you're very far away, you're not going to see it. This is one of my favorite. It's a birch tree and it's very simple, but still it's kind of special. You don't see much of these trees in other acid packs. You can see that LODs are very good and uh, I guess I was a bit lucky with this one. This is the biggest one yet and it's a oak tree and it's really big. And I guess this isn't the tree that, we, that you would use all the time, maybe just like in some special places for a game. And here we have the last tree, so that is the fifth tree if I'm not mistaken. And this one is very simple. It's I don't like this one at all, but I just I'm just going to put it in because uh, some people may like it. After that I made some bushes and this is the first one I made. It's very simple and very small bush but it definitely can be used in uh, in a lot of situations. And this one I really like. It's kind of, I don't know, it's, it just seems very cool and very simple. Um, it's a very simple ground rock. Oh, I, only, I only made two rocks and you're gonna see the second one uh, very soon. Uh, but I definitely think of adding like more boulders or like bigger rocks that you can use for your landscape. This is the second rock I made. I wanted a very like tall rock that you could use for maybe like some ruins or like ancient structures so this this can also be used in like a um, I don't know it doesn't have to be a forest it can be also like a little town or something I hope it makes sense the last thing I made is grass and it's actually not billboard or uh, 2d grass it's 3d grass and it was my first time making uh, something like this but I think I, I made I made like a pretty good grass uh, you can like you can see that if there's a lot of it, it looks even better. It's very simple and it's like it doesn't have much detail, so it kind of just blends in with the uh, with other grass and other objects. I definitely think of adding some like taller grass and some uh, lower grass for uh, adding some more variation to the uh, forest. And if you can see, I also made a grass texture for the ground. It's also very simple. I made like five minutes. If you look at it, it does have some like darker and lighter areas. I didn't want to go too hard with the the ground texture because uh, it's everything is low poly, and if I add like a very detailed ground texture, it's just gonna break the system. So that is it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. This is like I know it's a very short episode, but um, I just wanted to tell you guys on some uh, progress that I've been making with this. The aspect is of course going to be free and you can be you can download it when it comes out. I don't know yet. I don't know when it comes out yet, but um, I'll be sure to tell you. So if you enjoyed, if you want to see this asset pack come out, be sure to leave a like, comment down below uh, on some things that I should add to this asset pack and also subscribe. And hopefully I will see you next time. Bye bye.